Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is the Tennis Overgrip Tape. So we're going to tape this stick up, which I just got, which is a BPM Sherwood, Sherwood BPM 90, and we're going to tape it with Overgrip. Now this is going to be a replacement for my normal Tacky Mac. I've heard people mention to use this instead of, it's cheaper. For three of these, it costs me eight bucks, and you can buy them on AliExpress for even less. I think it's like 20 for like six or something crazy. Um, so we're gonna try this. I looked online how to apply over uh, over grips for tennis rackets. So I'm gonna be following that. Um, and this, it's not that I don't like Tacky Mac, it's that these are cheaper and it's another option that people can have. So I figured I would find out if it's worth getting um, or worth doing. So first of all, what I read is to just unravel the whole thing. And then there's a grippy, a t like a sticky side and a non-sticky side. And the non-sticky side has a covering on it to begin with, and you have to take that off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that right now, which is over here. And I'm not gonna take it all off, I'm just gonna take it off to the point where I can start wrapping it. Now, the weird part for me about this is when I do this knob, is because tack, like, I don't like how when there's a, it, sorry, when it like slides down, I like when it's just a knob and then stops. So we'll see if this works for this. And then basically all you do is wrap this a couple times or wrap it around the stick the way you want. And then you use the supplied, like it's like the end piece and you put that together and you're all good. Now I'm just trying to get this as tight as possible. So you might see some edits in here in case I really screw up, but I'm going to try to keep it all in one video as much as possible. And it is nice as the width is pretty close to an actual tape or to actual hockey tape. So that's not bad. So I ended up realizing that uh, doing it from the top wasn't going to work in terms of actually getting the thing f like finalized. Um, it was that there's no way for me to go from the top wrap to the bottom without like at all. It was just awkward. So what I'm going to do is go f start at the bottom and work my way up and see if this works better. But got to get all flat first, which is also part of the challenge. So I think for the very first run, you want the tips to be, or sorry, the end to be completely covered because there's no real tape. You don't really use tape for this, like to go under it or to tape it off. You just use the small piece of material they supply you. So hopefully this is pretty uniform and hopefully I don't run out of material, which I probably will because it's me. Also, sorry that I'm doing this now and haven't tried it before. The reason being is I knew I was getting a stick and I wanted to use it with the stick and I didn't want to take a Tacky Mac off another stick that I had already used. And I didn't really want to waste one of these either, which I mean, it's cheap, but so am I. <laughs> All right, so that worked pretty good for that. So now we're gonna make the knob, which actually looks like we have that much space left. So yeah, the knob isn't gonna be huge, as you can see, uh, fortunately. But, I mean, we'll see how it is. Now, the way that you're supposed to do this with actual tennis racket is when it starts to get skinnier, as here, it comes to like the very end of the racket. Or, yeah, so basically it will, this will all line up, the small part will all line up right in here. So it'll be perfectly like flat, but, since we're not doing that because uh, we're not doing that because I one don't really care. Uh, we're just gonna do it, I guess. All right, so there we go for that. So there we got the wrap. Now we're gonna grab the final piece. So let's see this. So this should be see how this comes out. All right, so it attaches right here. Now, okay, so this piece right here is all tape. Oh, do I want it right side up? Okay, we're gonna do this as best as I can. Okay, 
So this part's sticky, right? So this will hold the actual top of it where it's supposed to be, hopefully. Normally your hand wouldn't be around this on the tennis racket. So we'll see if this works right. All right, so there's the end piece right there. Got It's nice and grippy. It's a little bit of uh, like cushion to it. There's not a ton. You can buy other ones which do have more cushioning underneath, but I don't really care about the cushioning that much. That's actually not a bad knob either. It's a pretty good size. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's it for this. I'll come back and say how this works, how I like it. Uh, like if this starts sliding off, we'll have problems. So hopefully it won't. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, Again, check out my uh, link to my website below. I'll have some instructions on there as well in written so you don't have to watch the video over and over again. Uh, pictures as well. Again, subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, check me out on Twitter. Again, link in description. And on Instagram, follow me there. That way I can just get more things to review for you guys and tell you what's on there. Uh, so thank you very much and take it easy.